Hey, what's up guys? This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. It's been a long time since I uh, created my last video and I'm very glad that I'm back doing again this kind of exercise. Alright, so in this exercise, I'm going to teach you how to add 2D annotations to a detailed view. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to use the 2D tools in Revit Structure. Okay, so in this exercise, I'm going to add uh, 2D annotations to my detailed view. Okay, it happens most of the time because uh, even though we can easily create section in Revit, okay, so there are instances that the details are not enough for us to show what we really want uh, to show to our client. That's why we are adding uh, details. So in order for us to do that, so instead of doing the model very detailed, the 3D model, so we just use a 2D annotation, okay, which is uh, pretty useful. So we will be using the tools that we will be getting from the annotate tab, all right? So let's get started. So in this view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a detail line. Okay, so this is the detail line. Okay, so you can also type DL. So as you can see, the definition, it creates a, uh, it creates a view specific lines. So detail lines are visible only in the view in which they are drawn. Okay, so detail line is different uh, from model line because model line you can also see that in 3d view Okay, but if you only want to create a line for your detailing that will appear only in the view where you have drawn it So you can use detail line, All right? So I'm going to select the detail line here and then from the line style So I'm going to change the line style to hidden lines. Okay, so I select the hidden lines and then I'm just make sure that the chain here is unchecked. All right, so I'm going to add an offset distance here of 6 mm. Okay, so I'll start creating here. So I'm going to click this one. Okay, so just above this thick line, floor represented by this uh, thick line. So I'm going to pick here. There you go. Okay, then I'm going to create here also. So these lines uh, that I'm creating, it represents the hidden faces in the metal deck uh, layer of the floor. Okay, so that's the reason why I'm creating these two lines here. So that's the representation. It's uh, hidden faces in the metal deck of the floor. Okay, there you go. So after that, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch a steel plate. Okay, so let's say I want to represent my uh, steel plate in 2D drawing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, from the... I select modify to terminate the tool. Okay, so going to the modify, there is this uh, panel here, the view panel. So you can see here line work. So I'm going to select the line work here. To modify the line style uh, representing the edge of the steel beam okay so where's that so let me just change first the style here so let's say I'm gonna select here hidden so this is the hidden all right so I'm going to change this one so I'm gonna click this there you go and I'm going to click this also there you go okay so let's say for example it represents the edge of the steel beam Okay, now after that, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to activate again my detail line. So I select the detail line here. Okay, and this time I'm going to create the rectangle. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. Okay, to draw the connection plate. Okay, and for this one, I'll just use uh thin lines all right so i'm gonna pick the thin lines okay and then i'm going to click the the midpoint here this one so i'm going to click this all right 
and then I'm going to move my pointer to the uh, lower right so I'm gonna select uh, I'm just going to make sure that the wide here is 125 okay 125 and then the height is three, about 370 all right okay so wide 125 and 370 long so I'm going to pick now all right there you go okay it will represent my steel plate so I'm going to modify that so I select modify to terminate it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the position of the detail lines in my view so I'm gonna select all the four lines if you're having a difficulty selecting your the face here only these lines so make sure select elements by face here is unchecked all right so that when you pick here it will not select this face okay all right so I just select or another tip is you can move your cursor over the line do not select you just move your pointer over the line and then you you just need to press the tab once there you go so once you see it highlights so you just need to select that to select the four lines okay but then again, if you're having a difficulty, just use the window selection. Okay, so after you select the four lines there, so I'm going to select here, activate the dimension. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, change the position. So activate dimension, okay, and then you can see the dimension here. I'll just change this to 50. There you go. Okay, and then I'm going to add bolts to the plate, okay? To add bolts to the plate again it's just a 2d drawing so from the annotate tab component so there is this repeating detail component all right so i select that and then from my properties i'm gonna make sure that a35 uh, uh a325 15 mm plan is selected okay and then after that all right i'll use the peak lines here and then add an offset distance of 30 okay so peak lines offset is 30 okay and then in uh, in my view i'm going to move my cursor to the left of this line so i'm gonna pick there you go all right and then i select here modify now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the de repeating detail that i just created i'm going to move it down so i select that and then i activate the move tool and then i'm going to make sure that the disjoint here is checked Okay, so I can uh, move my repeating detail. So I'm going to move it down. So you just need to make sure this is checked to adjust the relative placement of items in my repeating detail. So I'm going to pick here as my base point, move my cursor down, and then I'm going to key in 30. There you go. Okay, and then I'm going to select this dot here. So instead of uh, 370, so I'm going to click this dot. I'm just going to reposition. So I'm going to make it uh, 300. And then I release my left click. Alright, there you go. So I select modify here. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to group it. Okay, so in AutoCAD you have the group command, right? So also here in Revit. So I'm going to select the rectangle and then the repeating details okay and then the group tool can be found from your create panel so you can see here the great uh, create group or you can also type gp so you select this one and then you just need to specify the name okay so let's say i'm going to call it beam to column connection connection all right so connection so i select here okay there you go. So after you create a group in your project, you can find it now here. From the project browser, you see there's the groups there. So this is the one that I created. So in this exercise, there is a new group or there, there is already a group that we are going to use later on. So every time you create a group, it will be placed here under the groups. Okay, so if you want to place it again, a copy of the group, you just uh, drag and drop 
inside your project or you can just right click and then you can select create instance all right okay anyway so after i create the group what i'm going to do next is i'm going to mirror this group to the other side so so you just need to select the group and then you click pick axis you click that and then i'm going to pick this line here there you go all right then select modify there you go and then the next thing that i'm going to do is um i'm going to add bolts okay so i'm going to add bolts in my project okay so to do that so from the project browser so i'm going to use this plate and five bolts in section so i just right click this and then i select create instance so i click this okay and then i'm going to click this one remember the first line that you created so i'm going to pick the midpoint of that to place my bolt so i click there you go okay very nice so that's my vault so i select now modify to terminate it see so little by uh, little by little we are adding details to our uh, somewhat dull section now it's already detailed okay so after we add uh, detail components from the annotate tab so the next thing that i'm going to do so let's say i want to add a weld symbol so again from the annotate so this time there is this uh, symbol here so i'm going to select the symbol i click this one okay again from the properties so i'm going to make sure that both is selected okay weld symbol both okay so where am i going to put that so i'm just going to put it here the weld symbol there you go and then i select modify okay so the exact placement is not critical now i'm going to select the weld symbol and then i'm going to add the leader line so i select that and then from the leader panel so there's the add leader tool so i'm going to click this there you go okay and then i'm going to drag this so i'm gonna place it here okay and then i'm just going to change the i'm going to modify the properties here okay so from the text where's my text okay text all right so this one so i just put the text here so I'm going to select the tail note visible. So I just check that one. And then for the text note, I'm going to add PYP dot typical. Okay. And then apply. There you go. See? So basically, that's you. Uh, that's how you add details to your uh, section view, callout view, or detail view. Okay because just like what i've said so if once you create the section the details are not complete so you can still add details this time you can add 2d drawings okay so you can go to the annotate tab and then from here you'll be able to use uh, some of the tools that is very useful for you to add details in your project okay all right so that's for this uh today's exercise so hope you enjoyed the video so if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And you can also download the exercise file of this um, exercise. I'm going to include that to the video description. Okay? And once again, this is Richard from Learning with Rich. Have a good day.